Amen, church. So our theme is my help comes from uh, the Lord. My help comes from the Lord. I have put the statement in a singular form and not in a prolistic sense. So I want you to lay a hand or put a hand on your chest and just declare by yourself and say, my help comes from the Lord. I want you to mean it. I want you to believe it. Say, it, my help comes from the Lord. So, I want us to take the psalm that we read, and that is Psalm 127. If you can just put it there for people to be following. But, there's something that I want to start with. I want to start this sermon with two questions the questions that really challenged me in my reading and um, these questions were posed by a man called Jeremy Boomer Jeremy Boomer so B-O-U-M-A Jeremy Boomer not Jeremy Uriwak praise <laughs> not that one <laughs> So the man asked the question and said, when your world turns dark and your journey turns rugged, where do you turn for help? When your world turns dark and your journey turns rugged, where do you turn for help? Ichalo chenu ngachafita no luendo lwa kosa lwa bolwa pilingana bushe nikuisa mulolesha kubwa fuidisho na kusango bwa fuidisho he also raised another question and said what is your source for the confidence you need to face the head winds so in other words he was asking the source when things are tough when the wave the tough of life is blowing. Where do you draw your confidence? Where is the source of confidence? So I thought today, with that at the back of our minds, we look at the theme, my help comes from the Lord. If I want, I can even end here <laughs> because I will have answered these two questions. But I want us to expose the passage that we have and I have put these stanzas, these eight stanzas by the way, I'm calling them stanzas bearing in mind that we are dealing with a psalm, we are dealing with a song and so I've uh, grouped them in two so meaning that I'll be exposing this passage in the groups of two one to two, three and four five, six and seven and eight. Amen, St. Matthews. And for those who are friends who are following, make sure that you share as we declare together that our help comes from the Lord. When we look at this psalm, this psalm is classified as a psalm of confidence. That was meant or is meant to celebrate God's providence. It is a psalm that is classified as a psalm of confidence. And in this psalm, the psalmist was celebrating God's providence. I think last year, sometime last year, I taught on providence but just as a reminder providence is God's or maybe the protection and the guardianship that one receives from the deity the way in which God Almighty looks and provide for his creation that is providence is what is known as 
providence. Amen, church. And so when verse uh, 1 and 2, the psalmist says and expresses confidence in God as his helper. Maybe let me draw your attention to there, but for today, Balumbanya na wachite chintu chisumasan. Not badi abalumbanya tuwa ishi babadi. Aba is like, badi ko born again. Na wachita project. Wato otele niko balumbanya. Kwa mope nina wa matron wawo. Elo wabika na pali. So kwa shale ya communication ya kubakuti. So together we can read from there as I am reading here you are able to follow. He says verse 1 and 2 he says I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So in these first two verses he is expressing confidence in the Lord as his helper. So the psalmist in here is just expressing that confidence to say, I have no other helper apart from God. I'll come and look at that in details. But he mentions something. He uses a symbol when he says, I look unto thy, lift my eyes unto the hills. Some other, verses, uh, some other versions will say, unto the mountains. He is not saying he was standing at a certain position and looked at the mountains. But it is a statement of a wandering mind. A, man, a mind that was longing for help, desiring for help, crying for help. And so he looks at the mountain as a place sometimes of difficulties or as a place of hopelessness and he wonders and says where is my help going to come from? In verse 2 he expresses confidence that my help comes from the Lord, maker of heavens and death. In other words, he expresses the idea that he is also the creator and not just the helper. Are we together, church? And so let us continue. Like I have said, the mountain here is a symbol, symbolic for a treacherous and dangerous path. I have alluded to that fact. But also, it is a place of idol worship if you want a symbol of idol worship. Here is the context. Let me take my time. When he says, I look unto the hills, the idea that he is bringing or the psalmist or the text is bringing is the idea that sometimes we have where we look up to certain things for help and those things in most cases are dead in themselves and they not bring any help at all. Language in such a place, you know, they look at this place as a sacred place. Such that sometimes ngabale ingila wengile chimfuta numa. Watishwe chimfuta numa chive. Umuntu wale ingila so murumu mumu hako. Wande waka kumanya hapa pongosh. Nishole ingila. Elo pangeni wenye nefwe. Elo waba leisa kunu mapa pongosh hapa. Na ngunuwe shifwe. Ule ingile chanu mapa pongosh hapa na kashifa leisa kunu moka seva. idols, there are things that we hold on, there are things that we believe so much, there are people that probably we've put in certain places as permanent people or things and we worship and we believe that every time 
we need the help, they will render that help. But the psalmist says, my help comes from the Lord, maker of heavens and earth. Amen? Meaning that man cannot provide that help. Let us go to verse 3 and 4. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Please take note of the word slumber. Because in those two verses, my, my interest is the word slumber. The psalmist in here is bringing that sense of the word shama. And the word, when you define God or when you look, describe God to be Jehovah Shama, you are simply saying the ever present God. And when you look at slumber, it is a time where you switch off, you sleep, or someone may be saying something, but you are absent. In other words, the idea of being around but not available. You are around, but you are not available available in any sense that you may think of. The idea of you being there or your body is there but you are somewhere. But in this sense he says he will not allow your foot to dash or to do anything because he does not sleep or slumber and there is a reputation in verse 4 he who watches over Israel does not sleep nor slumber meaning that this help is always present. He's always there. The idea of first kings comes back 18. Remember when the prophet was taunting the prophets of Baal to say probably shout even more. Maybe your God has gone on a trip. But you you up but he does not sleep. Sleep? No. Slumber. I can even be quick to point out to say when you feel as if you are alone and no help is coming your way, I want you to begin to realize that he is Jehovah Sham. He is always there 24 hours service. Inenga mwaisa antumina zero one. Zero one. Kanu fenga ndi muma tontonga nyo ya kulila hava kashi. Elo ni ingasuka. But in normal cases, nishi ni ndala. No ku ntumina phone pa 24 hours na ngu zero one. Mareflandi, ubu wafi ya kuno mareflandi, tuimi netu pepe. Ndakalipa. Epa na nisa mkwasuka, hello, hello, hello. Eh, nishi, hava reflandi, ufo na hello, ta, ta fuwe meba reflandi, have a terrible dream. Can you stand with me? Not, okay, we are going to stand. No, but I'm going to put on the phone. Na la la. Ukuisa sholo chelo. Elo nombo kwambo kupipa. Father, I pray for the person who called. Why? I am limited. There's a point that I sleep. Sometimes na phone yani te tingi stationi. Te tingu mfu na ukumfu. Akuti ali la fe na ukuma sanga fe na ishima. But there is someone who is ever present. You wake up at 1 a.m. You have a terrible nightmare. And you begin to speak to him. He does not sleep no slumber. If we did that today, Lord, then so cash, let to pepe ka. Today, Lord, that today, like a car, and I have a lot of a day, like a car. But they load the valet don't sana. Babu Kabamba no kubayinda. He does not sleep, no slumber. And so he says, he who watches over Israel, and so you can put your name in there, and says, he who watches over Aaron does not sleep, no slumber. Are we together? Hallelujah. So he expresses the idea of protection, church. He says he protects us. He does not just watch over us. He provides, he guides, he protects, 
and is always attentive to see that we continue going forward, which is different from the gods and the idols that we may have kept. Hallelujah. Five and six is a metaphor used again. Look at verse five and six. The Lord is your keeper. That is protection. The Lord is your shed. Remember Psalm 91. connect. The Lord is your shed and your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. I will take the right hand because that is my interest. So here he continues to build on protection. He is your protection. He covers you. You are covered. But again, when you look at the shed, a shed is a place of refreshment and safety. But that is not my idea that I want to dwell so much. The idea is the right hand which has been used. The Lord is your shade and your right hand. In most cases, when we are marrying off people, the tradition is that a woman is supposed to be by the left hand side of the man. So meaning that the man will be standing by the right hand of the woman. The woman. Why? It is believed that in that sense, we are talking about protection. Now we mean Okturo Yunka Muchingiri. I will be her protector. And that is the idea of a husband. Kumuchingira to my sisters and that's why some people let the confusion because to my sisters to be twice full on gana if you call a kakasha fever mulam they can cook a little pan on up a pungus cover of a pungus a cover of a fish but the mother to a moon and they have anaka a pussy of your man and so as a man is supposed to protect Na alisula sana Aba ume Aba ume Aba anakashi Nga muamona fio mua ume Husband beating a wife Mule isho wakati no buino bui No buino bui Mua umu Muishu wakati no sana sana Why? First Strong people Who claim to be strong Are people who use their brains properly They embrace reasoning Reasoning And they use wisdom Wisdom as a weapon. Wisdom is stronger than strength. Stronger than that might. So they fuma kafe. No sunga mamuna fe. No po sofi umo. We pom pum pum mwa ishwa tawa. No bui. No bui no bui no. No tu kralanda te fe oba aba. Ah ah. Mule ishwa fati. Ha ha. No tsana san. Three points at it. Why? A man is supposed to protect the wife or a woman. <laughs> the right hand is used before I come to God. You are there. You 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 are there. So that that is that protect. <laughs> You have to protect. And above all, do you know that to just move a bit, I'll come back. Do you know that uh, a woman is just a helper? Yes. When you employ someone at home, Matilda, this is our house help. Mulela nda pisha ninga nda yako. Bale miyafo kupia? Kupia ngu kuwasha ninjito ye? And so when the scripture says a man, a woman is a helper to a man, it means ninjito ya kuwasha ya di amwa. So mulela kwa 
masango mwa umeale washa panganda tibali mubika mwibotolo ni nani uingekala mwibotolo ya chepa fidia wagondwe kuwasha hello hello some 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 of us men are very insensitive twabu kabonse twaya kunchito twabwela urefu afika fi apitile ku kitchen iwe na wikata fina remote ngafi yako kola kwa kudi if yako if yako dia fi yako kola wamba no kuponta ninshwa waya waya so ninshto yo be kabia kitchen uyo wipike alikuwa afi i know culture and tradition has moved us from that point but let us not enslave the other gender because the other gender is just a help ukwasha ali washa pasata that wale afwana na tikala in fact ni chikondika mule washa kwa hapa mule afwana bambi awe shua kula pose na pofe na vimi ela bambi nen soko shama kaba shifo no kupeta fete tiba pete mule sambirira ura boku buturuka muy pushe sometimes flavors cut together bed kusha kofia pa kulale tia shala na ila kofia pa pena na afuruka no kufuruka ti yangu tata we chiwa wali sendo mukashi eno na ibuta oh no ni nchito yand so when you stand on the right hand protect her not add salt to the wound papongo shwa muchushe na iwo lundeko awe na iwo iwo elemo okay tien to twali and so it is the same idea that the scripture says he is the lord your protector who stands by the right hand in new testament and new testament we see jesus standing at the right hand of the father interceding for us so when jesus stands at the right hand of the father He is fighting the battles for us. You know when you are asleep the battle comes he is there to stand and to protect you day and night and the symbol of a scorching sun is used because why he is our shade when we go in the shade we are covered there is that cover from God and that's why we can declare say no weapon from the Against me shall prosper because he is standing at the right hand and he is the shed that i need shall we yeah that's what the psalmist is saying but let us move to verse 7 and 8 7 and 8 we shall 7 and 8 The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in. He shall preserve you. And that is something that I want us to look at that really still it is the idea of protect protection. But when you look at this psalm again no one the others have said is a psalm of a sojourner, someone who's on the journey. because Israel had this idea that when they were leaving Jerusalem walking out of the wall they knew that war fence that God is going with them and when they were coming in they were coming in the very presence of God and so even when you wake up in the morning you are going to that office oko bakusetting ule ishiba watila he has blessed my going and i'm going to execute my duties without fear no favor because he is watching over me and when you go coming back to your home ngapali abashabate apo efindu watila he blesses my going but he also blesses my coming back are we together so at no point is you know god leaving us and leaving us and making us vulnerable nifwebe nefefweka mumbyo moti twala fie nifwebe nefefweka we wasumina 
ulefuaya uye muba umu chirelila ati umu nalaya mkutusha na ngule sala kuchingila you are making yourself vulnerable kwa zimudia kwa botuwa eche tulashana <laughs> upita ni pita ni baisa kucha ila so upita ni kaisa kuletiri palasi wachila alo lekesha na yuwa mba fio lekunka mo fio nfe <laughs> eh, before you, you know it na upanga na safety belt ulifefe Safety belt now, man. <laughs> uh, you made yourself vulnerable. The cover of the Lord is always there, but you have to walk uprightly. That is the word. You walk upright. Not you quit while I am on change. Lule kukapa. Mayo, itinda miyabo mwaya wa fila lilo mu. Tula wako bizo tu wanso. Hii, techako ya wati yondi musubwa wako wa shukuru shima bebo. Uka poso uwi itenga wa ingilo. Hii, after all, mwilita uwa born again. Mwaya wako ya wati ama feelings yala wa born again in nani. and them pay like of a leakage. So in your general activities, he is there. He's there. Why? He watches over your going out. So when you wake up in the morning, be confident. I have this Lord as my helper. Amen? When you are believing God for something, always know that he is your helper. He blesses your going out and he blesses you're coming in. So meaning that in your path, when it is rugged, when it is tough, it is dangerous, he is still there to make sure that you do not dash your foot against the evil one. He will cover you. Nga watu nyante po, e ubalila po nyante po. E uyule so yala chingi ni loyo. Nga balichite ocha muluani, you know, the enemy has set a trap there is a snare there. Before you step on it, God comes in and picks up that pen. And then you walk because he watches your going out and he watches your coming in. He is your helper and protector. Let us draw two things. Number one, in all these stanzas, in all these stanzas, we are able to note that number one, God is our soul and true helper. Did you say He's our soul and true help. So not as in the body or the spirit or no. Not S O U L. No. But S O L E. So the only helper. What am I trying to say when we, in this point, we say God is our sole help? We are saying really he is our sole helper and our true helper. When we use the word true, we must also know that there is the opposite, which is for false. So, kwa ba na fake bakashana. Ngo wa muna kalumendo kakose la profesa na pa no no, na kakutanda lila ulefuwa yopa kuyo ukuchita kwa kantu, ale kwa fwa, mule wa mwai pusha. Matusho kwa fwilishu wuku. Kule fumina pe. Ushi nkunda. Nechi temu ikwe chi. Because if you are not careful, you will pay with your body mwa ichi. Kali pila no mubidi. There are people that really want to help you because they have got hidden agendas. Then there are some who genuinely will help you. But with God, when he is helping you, you are rest assured, sure, there are no strings attached. And I was so untrue helper. So when the psalmist says, I look, I lift my eyes unto the hill, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord maker of heaven and earth. I want you to begin to look at your life today and I want you to bring in context 
that which you are struggling with and you are looking for help. True help will come from God. Position yourself so that God can be of a help to you. I know to politicians this is a crucial year. Let us bring in the idea of idols. Some because of desperation and not knowing where they can draw and find true help so that they can get help. You don't need an idol to help you. It is as dead as you are. Because if you go there, you are dead. Amen? So some people be so desperate. Those who are called into politics as your calling. This year, I want you to position yourself as you are believing for that position of being a what councillor, a member of parliament. I want you to begin to look at God and say, This is my soul through helper. If it does not happen this year, tell him, we still got some more years to come, God. I believe this is my calling. No need for you to consult media. If you are that is not your true help. Because not, no, not Flunyan, but Ena alifita, afuaya kakwa complexion. Elo mwalishwa fe fwa chala so. Mwam. Eselo wa chinja juji. Wa afita. Elo wa isa adama. Wende fwa wakashika. Nga alafu. Wa, 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 wa wakashika. Alifita. Nga isa afuka fe. Elo wa isa musuti. You went to look for help in wrong places. Your help is God. If you want to move levels at your workplace, begin to pray and begin to seek for God because he is your soul through help. You are going to sell your integrity. Some people have sold their integrity in the quest to rise. But when we go to God as your helper, you don't need these mountains. You don't need these you know, idols. All you need is God himself. And when he comes, he is going to help you. And when help comes, he lifts us up. Desperation he is your soul help. You know, some people when you are doing fine they will be there for you they will be around you and they will be willing to have a and they will be willing to have a and they will be willing and they will be willing to have a few and they will be willing to have a few they help Yachin, you'll be gaff. Go on of a moon during Yachin, Chilas and Amwe or Aklai. Chinchilla, Chinchilla. Oh, when I we. We saw Muchinchilla Sana. I will put a Pragon of a Machinchilla Sana. What day for Femurano de Cachapo? Ah, we to me, Papa, take a lady. 
Everything is God's favor. It's God's favor. Yes, we know there's favor. But there are people who abuse others in the name of favor. And refuse to be abused and used. Oh, that is integrity so our soul and true helper is who? is God number two let me draw the idea from verse eight when he preserves us from evil for me and the blessings are going and are coming out it simply means he is ever present. He's what? Present. And I want to take my time here because that is my last point. When we say my help comes from the Lord, we are simply saying he does not go anywhere. He's always around. He's shama. Regardless of the pain that we may be experiencing, he is there. There are times that people will not be there. Now, I'm See, see, I've learned something. You know, if you to But bedroom, That's when I really felt now like, ni finish. him. Everything is okay and you are in anguish, you are in pain. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He is ever present and you can call for help at that particular time. He will definitely come through for you. He is ever present. Ah, you may be following us and watching us by Facebook and you are looking at yourself and say, I am in distress. There's no one to help you. God is present. I want you to begin to look at your life and say, I have this giant of a God who is always there for me, in me, around me, and ahead of me. And he does not sleep, no slam. <laughs> Kapoko <laughs> Mwalimu <laughs> Thank you anyway. So, I gave you an idea of how you can call me and I will not be available. Especially when I was like, 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 I was I was like, I was I think is a man of God and a woman of God. Fiance is my papa, my papa. Wait, your papa will not be there. Learn to start with God alone. Not all the time. 
Reverend, Reverend Wilang Shupa. Ndafuwa kutu kona ini. Kuhila ndila kofi hapa. Nga wako shupa sana. You know kwa baba ndawa kwa they can't do things on their own. Chonsefe, man of God. Chonse, iwe. Learn to stand with the ever present God. Aka leba kwa ya bale imboli mbo. Tata na mayo, ena kutiwansha. Tata na mayo, ena kutiwansha. Chibusa yesu, ena teti anshe. They will leave you. And even the people you co trusted friends, they will leave you. But he will never, ever leave you. He is ever present. And you can call on him at any time. When life is dark, call on him. When you are emotionally affected, call on him. When your strength is giving up, call on him. He stands by the right hand will help you and he brings the help that you need today in this month I want to declare if you have been doubting about certain things in your life I declare and decree let them begin to move because he's ever present may the mountain mover move your mountains maybe you've been feeling that he's gone toilet Wafwili sho wandi bufuma kwe Bufuma vye kufumu Na inwi na meso ya di Na lole sha na mumpili Wafwili sho wandi bufuma kwe Bufuma vye kufumu Ni mwe mwe kaya we Ni mwe Yes he's our helper Ni mwe mwe ka Ni mwe mwe ka Chete Worship with me church Ni mwe mwe ka Bambi va chete ke la muicheleta Bambi va chete ke la nakaba lue Mailo, if you 
Kaya nefyo kafwana Chetete la wishi na yakwe Wala sanga mwe pusu kilo Wisa kamana palwa mailo Efyo ukalia nefyo kafwana Chetete la wishi na yakwe Wala sanga mwe Ni mwe kaya we You may be wondering, you may be looking up to the mountains, you may be feeling as if you are alone. I want to assure you, you are not alone. He is right in your situation. He is very present. He is there. Learn to call on him and right now as the word is coming, I want you to begin to lift your voice and say, you are ever present, oh God. Yes, people may have left you and you are so lonely. I know he comes in. The Holy Spirit comforts us and gives us that hope that we need. You may be saying he is gone. He is not gone. He has not forsaken you. He's just starting something in your life. Father, we give you glory. Father, we worship you. You are our soul helper. You are the ever-present God. When we cannot feel, oh God, the impact on the presence of our friends, you are always there speaking to say, I am there for you. I am there for you, standing by the right hand. Yes, the sun, the scorching sun, sun shall not burn us because you are there. You bless our going out. You bless our coming in. You do not sleep. You do not slumber. This morning we lift our hearts and minds unto you that in the season of God, may you manifest. Thank you for the teaching and preaching of your word to the glory of your holy name we pray amen you can take your seats god bless you